So, <clears throat> yet again, it's been about a week or so. Uh, figured I'd get another video out for you guys. Just in the process of getting my next class all set up and ready. Start on Tuesday. And, uh, full-time school, basically. So, um, but I'm working it all. I've got planned you know, schedules for everything. Hopefully it all works. Uh, it's also just been really hot, so I haven't been doing as many run videos. We're kind of in the really hot week. So, uh, just haven't really been doing the videos. It's just really hot to stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. So I've been taking my truck out, but I haven't really been doing as many videos on that end. Just focusing on videos will be on the bench. And once it's a little cooler, I'll get out and do some run videos. And plus, no one seems to like the Ascender. <laughs> I don't know why. The Pateros just seems to not be a very... Uh, popular video of mine for some reason. Maybe it's my promoting. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really care. It's, it's hot anyway. I'll get more out there. It's just hot. But this video is going to show you what the cage looks like all mounted up and what you need to do for the rear half northern truggy cage. As well, to this cage there is a full Mohave uh, truggy cage that they do make. So I will find the photos of that and have this in this video as well. So you can do the half or the full truggy cage. For the half, it's very simple. All you need to do is cut basically where your cross member goes, as you can see, where that shock cross member would be. I think you can still run it, but I'm not running it. I want maximum axle clearance. So what I want to do is also, well, what I'm going to explain here is you cut this part off as well, but you cut all the way to the end where that cross member would be. I've left two holes, or one hole, whatever you'd want to call it. I want to possibly run a trailer hitch back here. So I could run a trailer into the bush, just regardless of what. I want to maybe run something here. I'm not sure exactly what yet, but if I don't, I'll cut it off. If I do, I'm just going to leave it. Plus, I don't really mind having that extra mounting point for something, too. So it's, it's not all bad. But as you can see, all you have to do is cut that last little bit of the frame off realistically before the hole that I've left there. You would cut it right to the right to this. So it's a nice flush cut. But I wanted to leave a little bit there just for uh, mounting purposes and maybe a trailer hitch. And then from there it mounts directly to your top link hole. So the bolt would go right through to put your uh, top links in and then to your chassis. So as you can see, first one there is for, get my finger out of the way, the first one there is for your top links, the second one is for your transmission plate mount. So it's snug on there, this thing is not going anywhere, and then you have bolted to the frame these right here. So this thing is on there, it's not going anywhere, and then your spare tire, you just run a bolt through. I made some spacers so it fits. But you just run a bolt through. There you go. On there. No problem. And from there, that's about it. So that's how and what the Truggy looks like without the body. And then you can guess. Yeah, I'm not painting the body. You guys can judge me later or now. I don't really care. But <laughs> it would basically look like this. So there is the future of the SCX-10 I used to call Murdoch. Because that's still this truck. That's still the exact same truck. There will be an RC four-wheel... Uh, this is the RC four-wheel drive bumper, which will probably get put onto something else. Or sold, I don't, I'm not 100% sure. 
And then there's going to be basically the exact same bumper as this Truggy bumper, but with different mounting put onto the front. So it's going to be like right up, right up there. So pretty excited on that. And then from there, there's going to be northern truck. So yeah, then it's a northern truggy bumper, right? That will be put on here. And then custom northern truggy side panels to mount the body up. It's quite a bit of northern truggy stuff going on. Very excited. Love this truck. Just love the way. Like, look at how the tire. This comes up really nice to the tire. You know, just all the nice bends. It just makes the rear of the truck look awesome. And then, like I say, with axle clearance, where's an axle? There's an axle. Normally, you would hit, like, ooh. So, yeah, normally you're going to hit, like, right here. But now I can actually run it. I can have full bump stop, like, right there. So I'm pretty stoked on that gain some uh, some clearance so it'd be you know quite nice because I'm leaving that bottom piece open I have more clearance for my diff is that going to do a whole lot no these axles don't have big diff cases so it's not a huge benefit but I still want it I like the look of it leaves that whole back piece open looks a little more scale um, yeah so that's how that truck's coming. That's, uh, that's what we've got so far for that. The rims and tires have not been set or beaded yet or anything. Um, the body, like I say, it's just being stickered and deckled up. You know, just kind of everyone that uh, I tend to you, uh, use in my rigs. So obviously I need a RC four wheel drive sticker on there because the rims and tires are that. Um, but they will also be the Proline ones. So this is the way it's going to be for right now. I like the steely look, so I'm going to kind of swap between styles. Um, it's just the way I feel like doing it. And different tires. As well, remember the Cross 55 turn will be going in this. Maximum torque. And uh, just the AE or the yeah the AE AE5 ESC, nothing special. Uh, as well, we'll be running the uh, eh, eh, eh. be running the Fly Sky GT FS GT 2B receiver and remote. Uh, receiver, yeah, receiver and transmitter system. And just so you guys have an idea again, these are the rims. The Steely RC four-wheel drive beadlock with the eight-seal Maxxis Trepador tires. Love the Trepadors. Feel like running them. Nothing on Proline. <clears throat> but I already have the flat irons and the beadlocks. So I can just kind of swap between the two realistically. So yeah, that's that's really all there is to show you. There's not much. I'm still waiting on the axle pieces. That should be this week. So next week's video will be finally complete axle build up and mounted to the truck itself. So the next video for you guys realistically will be uh, a rolling chassis, hopefully. So fingers crossed, next video is rolling chassis. Or maybe just an axle build. But really, I don't, you guys all know what goes into these things. Then there's enough build videos of SDX-102 axles, the AR-44. So I think doing mounted rolling chassis, I think that'll be cool. With a little, and I'll do a little bit of shots on, or ex explanation on what is in, in the uh, axles. Um, it's Team DC ring and pinions. So, I've already had a link to that. So, you guys know what's in the axles. I don't really need to show you. I think just set up rolling chassis, 
so that from there forward it's the tires so half rolling chassis get the tires all set and beaded locked get the body mounted and that'll be that agree awesome not that you guys are saying yes or no to the camera because this is not live but awesome I already know you guys are gonna agree because I know everything I know everything I just know everything. Yeah, and I'm also tired. I've been up early. <laughs> so, <clears throat> you guys, have a good day. A little piece on the bench there. Um, at random. But uh, have a good day. I've got a dinner to go to, and then I'm relaxing for the night. And uh, being that it's Canada Day, I may uh, watch Deadpool. Or swearing it. Or trailer Park Boys. Something Canadian. For sure, eh? Fucking A. <laughs> Alright, boys. Girls. Ladies. Men. All my viewers. I'm not making sense anymore. So, yeah. I'm just gonna, uh... And that is a bombshell. Have a great weekend. It's a long weekend up in Canada here. And I believe it's all going to be a holiday into next week for the you Americans. Down there below us, eh? So have a great weekend. And I'm speaking Irish now. But, uh... Fuck it. Have a good fucking weekend. We'll see you in the next fucking video. Fucking happy trailing. Keep fucking trailing. Keep fucking building. Happy fucking Canada Day. Duh, 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 duh. Happy fucking Canada Day. Cheers! Have a good one. Fuck yeah.